Yeah, North City in Tamil Nadu is reeling from the aftermath of cyclone Mikjong with flood water reportedly entering a nearby oil refinery which has led to an oil spill. <laughs> this spill has caused damage to the areas that surround the eco-sensitive creek affecting livelihood of thousands of local fishermen. Further, the region has also seen a similar oil spill in 2017 due to a collision of oil tankers with severely impacted marine life. Jude Sale joins us now. Jude, take us through the measures that are being taken now to try and clean this up. How bad are things? Well, the latest from the ground is that the Tamil Nadu government has partnered with IIT Madras and the Chennai port to actually go about a mammoth oil spill cleanup. Remember, it's a first of its kind for the city, given the fact that uh, the 2017 oil spill was a marine one, whereas this has taken place at the Kosastalia River in my background. But let me give you an update on just how challenging and why this is assumed portions that this government hasn't quite expected before. Simply on account of scooping the soil, what you will see here is a whole lot of oil that's deep down inside and that's seeped in through the soil itself. As you can see, this black sand is indicative of the fact that a lot of seepage has taken place from the oil spill itself. And that is in fact part and parcel of a three-pronged plan that the Tamil Nadu government has set aside in terms of actually going about uh, cleaning up the oil spill. The first of which is immediate, which is remedial. And the second one, intermediary, being the fact that it is treating seepage of oil spill even as the long-term plan involves cleaning up or remedifying photoplankton and a number of biodiversity impact that has taken place along the Kosastalia River itself. Now remember this comes even as the government has uh, put off oil booms and uh, you know oil skimmers to actually go about doing the first part of the cleanup plan which is cleaning up the oil spill on the Kosastalia River and it also comes even as the state has actioned one about 200 boats even as 150 more boats and personnel are expected in the next couple of days. Remember all of this is taking place even as uh, the government is contending with another measure, another issue, and that's the loss of livelihood to a number of fishermen in the area, which also opens up another debate, and that is the legality of the oil refineries and the thermal power plants, like the one in my background, that exist in the area along the banks of what is being seen as an ecologically sensitive water body. Uh, the allegations at the moment point to the Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited, or CPCL, that has been issued orders by the Tamil Nadu government of uh, the Pollution Control Board to A, specify how the leak took place in the first place and then provide measures with regard to a mitigation plan from the company itself. We are told that CPCL is yet to respond to the Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board's notice. But I spoke to the state's Environment Secretary Supriya Sahu on the ongoing cleanup and all that it will entail. Let's listen into a slice of that conversation. Three big large boomers have already been deployed which are stopping the floating oil from spreading and then when you contain the oil you have oil skimmers and you have other machinery which is actually taking out the oil. We have removed more than 40 tons of the oil laden sledge and we have removed about 20 tons of oil. The pollution control board has issued certain directions to CPCL asking them to submit you know the reasons that how this leak has happened the technical committee has visited they have given their interim report but we are awaiting the response of cpcl also we have asked them to give us a mitigation plan well that is uh, an ecologically sensitive area dealing with the implications of that oil spill on account of the cyclone that had impacted Tamil Nadu. With that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of Business 360. Thanks very much for watching. Do stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. The news continues right after this break.